Like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. If you feel like you could use some inspiration for your future home design or just like checking out the weird ideas some people have, this video is for you. Would you choose to live in a silo? Or how about a boathouse? Here is a list of amazingly small and most comfortable houses. Number 8. You've heard many people say the bigger the better, but is this really the case for everything? For Emma, living in a small home has been a blissful time. Japan's high population and limited space made the cost of living in the country very high. Emma's house is only 8 square meters. When she stretches her arms in the apartment, she can touch both the walls easily. Even by Japanese standards though, this tiny Tokyo apartment is a lot smaller than usual. Emma spent a long time looking for apartments, but her current home stood out from the rest because of its two levels. Despite the narrow, almost hall-like shape, this apartment height prevents the space from feeling too confined. Lofty windows at the end of the studio space allow an abundance of light to flow into the room, and a small balcony even brings a touch of the outdoors into the home. In the house, everything is available as she shows it herself in a video. The kitchen is small, but has value. The bathroom is a space of design genius. There is even a horizontal bar in the middle of the kitchen for pull-ups. Yes, it's that small. A ladder in the living space leads to a small sleeping loft that sits above the apartment's entrance. If any guest comes, they have to sit on the floor, too. Number 7 Emma doesn't mind the small apartment because she lives alone, but this guy has to share it with his family. A resident of Belarus teamed up with his brother to build a 16 square meter tiny cabin as temporary accommodation for his family. The idea to live in a tiny house saves money and time for him, while it also provides a comfortable space for his wife and kid. In the house, every single inch is put to good use. The family of three and a half, that's their dog, started the project when they found themselves paying over $500 for rent in the city of Minsk every month. So instead, they made a smart investment of only $4,600, which also includes the furnishings and built this micro house. Inside, it has all the necessary amenities, a bathroom, a kitchen, living space, and even a washing machine. It uses natural gas and electricity for heating, and thanks to the good insulation, it has become a permanent family home whole year round. Another cool bit is that this house can be transported anywhere, as long as they get a permit from the road police. It's definitely one of the coolest do-it-yourself projects we've seen, but we just can't make up our minds whether we would live in a house like this. Could you? Number 6 There are lots of tiny houses that are made to be movable, but typically such homes stay stationary for an extended period of time before they're relocated. For Janice Bassard and Gulami Dutil, their tiny home was built from the ground up with the idea that it would be a rolling house they'd take all over the United States and Canada. Gulam had always loved photography, and Jenna wanted to become a writer, so they decided to quit their jobs, build a tiny house to travel the country in, and pursue travel journalism while embarking on the adventure of a lifetime. The couple sold almost everything they had to fund the project. After exactly one year and over 1,000 hours of extensive work, their dream home was finally complete and they were ready to hit the road. Together with their dog Sally's, Gulam and Jenna spent two years crisscrossing 25,000 miles across the US in their 125 square foot house, traveling everywhere from Florida to New York City to the Painted Desert in Arizona. It's like one day they woke up to the sunshine in Manhattan, and the next day they were sleeping by the beach in California. Currently, the house is parked in Oregon. The couple split in 2016, and Spassard now resides in the tiny home with her dog. She continues to write and travel. Number 5 By now, you must have an idea that there is a house for almost everyone, even the people who are always on the move. So a house that floats and is on water and moves like a boat is not a far-fetched idea. Bonnie always felt that she belonged on the water. Her father was a log driver, as was his father before him. So when she was considering building a tiny house of some sort, a houseboat seemed like the right choice for her. The idea came to Bonnie when her boat builder friend, Dennis Tremblay, convinced her that a tiny houseboat was the way to live alternatively. This is a four-season houseboat because it is fully insulated and has an antique wood-burning fireplace to provide heat in the winter. For power, they installed a deep-cycle marine battery that provides 12 volts of power for the lights, bilge pump, and navigation lights. The main floor has a kitchen, 
toilet, dining room, and living room. And upstairs, there's a cozy sleeping loft with a grill floor that allows heat to rise through the floor, which is brilliant. And for the best view imaginable, the loft leads to a rooftop patio to soak it all in. When she's not enjoying her riverside view, Bonnie rents out her floating tiny house as an Airbnb. Would you want to spend a night here? Number 4. No matter how tiny the house is, they still have corners and walls. Well, not this one. When Christoph Kaiser spotted a flat pack grain silo from the 1950s for sale on Craigslist, he thought his storage problems were over. But a quick Google search for similar projects led him down a different path, and something extraordinary was made instead. He embarked on an 18-month long project to fashion it into the tiny home of his dreams. And tiny it is. The 366 square foot home doesn't have any rooms, just an upstairs bed loft and a downstairs, which includes the kitchen and a bathroom. Kaiser ended up building the kitchen cabinets himself, as well as a sliding glass door on wheels that opens up to the backyard and the outdoor shower. In the house, a space-saving spiral staircase leads to the mezzanine bedroom. The bath is the only private space in this open plan layout. Everything just fits so perfectly in the house, it feels like it was made specifically for the silo house. Oh wait, it was. According to Kristoff, the biggest challenge of designing the silo house was fitting everything in. It had to function as a normal house, but he wanted to create a space where he'd want to spend time. The whole project cost him around $100,000, but it was totally worth it. Number 3. Steve Irene is one of those people who turns everything into gold. And by gold, we mean magic. Pure magic. He is the mastermind behind the Unity Wagon that he built by hand with mostly recycled materials in Melbourne, Australia. Yes, you heard that right, a completely eco-friendly house. The photographer started with a 5x10 trailer to which a local artisan helped add a curved steel frame. Complete with custom furniture, a round window seat, and a wood-fired stove, the cylindrical Unity Wagon will set your tiny home heart on fire. This is called a Unity Wagon because it is made of different types of Australian woods. The end result though is nothing short of incredible. The caravan is designed to be opened up to the elements and when the canvas sides are rolled up, you get unobstructed views of the surrounding farm as well as the sky. The wagon has been designed to be open and multifunctional with a fireplace on one side, the kitchenette on the other, and on both sides a couch which is large enough to seat three people. The bed design is incredibly clever. During the day it is the size of a single bed but at night can be extended to a double when required. What a masterpiece of a home. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a video. Number 2. Riverside House by Mizuishi Located in Tokyo, Japan, this small home was built along a river. Situated on a triangular site between a river and a road, the design is a direct response to the characters and qualities offered by the plot while remaining within the local permits and regulations of the area. With its small footprint of just 29 square meters, the home makes good use of space for its inhabitants, a couple and their daughter. The house is a work of art. Number 1. All aboard the Love Bus Love is a journey that has to start somewhere. Although the destination may be unknown, the possibilities are absolutely endless. This couldn't have been any truer as far as Felix Stark and Salima Taibai were concerned. The couple, who were originally based in Berlin, Germany, had enough of their urban life and decided to make a radical change to their lifestyle. So they packed their bags and moved to the United States with their beloved dog, Rudy. That's not all, though. This was under the condition that they had invested in something that would change their life forever, a school bus. They used it as their main mode of transport in what can only be described as a once-in-a-lifetime adventure. They completely transformed the bus into a full home, using every centimeter to the maximum. On their journey, they have encountered wolves and bears, climbed the top of mountains, and gone deep in the earth, making beautiful memories and also documenting their journey. This is how we want to spend our lives, do you? Which one of these homes do you think is the best? Let us know in the comments and like and subscribe if you think all of them are just awesome.